Well, let them eat cake. That was the clear message from the Met Gala last night as the real world deals with a brutal war, a deadly pandemic and soaring infl inflation. Billionaire irritant Kim Kardashian led the ostentatious showing off in New York uh, as she turned up in Marilyn Monroe's $5 million happy birthday, Mr. President, dress. Um, Miss Kardashian said that she cried when she realised she didn't fit into the dress. Yeah, maybe cry about something a bit more worthwhile in the world would be my advice for her. But I'm going to bring in Melissa Rivers now uh, to discuss all this. Melissa, A, great to talk to you. How are you? Hi, Piers. Good, how are you? It's been a long time. I last saw you on Celebrity Apprentice with our old friend Donald uh, Trump. Yes, yes. I think we've actually seen each other one or two more times since then, but I think that's probably the most memorable. <laughs> Let's talk Met Gala. Here's my view of this. I just felt it all looked so inappropriate to me. A bunch of wealthy celebrities turning up in ridiculous outfits, all costing tens of thousands of dollars, uh, led by Kim Kardashian in a $5 million Marilyn dress, which she shouldn't have been allowed to wear, all showing off how rich and famous and loaded they are and so on and privileged at a time when we have a a war, a pandemic, and surging inflation. Tone deaf? But, so I guess we know now how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? I, 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 well, okay, I don't think you're necessarily wrong, but let's just roll back for a sec. First of all, the fashion industry was decimated during COVID. And it's not just about the designers. It's about the people that make the dresses and make the fabric and the mills and the people who build them. So there's a whole other part of the industry that people don't see. But how can they spend and so it, much money, Melissa, and yet so many of them look so not, awful? But they're not paying for it. It's all to no, but my point is, they, they turned up. Some of them turned up. I mean, Kylie Jenner turned up in this wedding dress and baseball cap. Apparently had eight I, people to pack her into it. I mean, utterly ridiculous. I, I'm not saying they're all good, but it really is, and I understand completely what you're saying, and this was a big discussion around the bringing back of the Oscars and all these things, but it is a night that, yes, they're, it's supposed to be incredibly over the top. I, the, the Kylie thing I did not understand one iota. Maybe I'm too old to get it. Was it all a bit I low rent, know. Melissa? I mean, what, what you've got a bunch of Kardashians, Emily Radachowski finally keeping some clothes on. You've got one of the Beckham kids who's only famous because his dad kicked a football. It all looked very low rent. There was no Beyonce, no Rihanna, no Lady Gaga, just a bunch of reality stars and footballer sons. Well, that's been a big debate about a number of high end magazines and who they're using in the magazines, as well as people who are, would never 10 years ago would have been invited. And there's a big debate within the fashion industry of that's appropriate. But if you go back kind of to my original point, these are the people that get attention. And it's a night to promote fashion, which is a you know, multi-billion dollar industry. Yeah, but here's my problem. That's just trying, wait, but that's just trying to get back right. on its feet. But then you get someone, wait, like Riz Ahmed, <laughs> Like Riz Ahmed, who I know people are like, oh, I can't believe he wore that. I thought what he wore was brilliant mm -hmm. because he came out and said, this is representing the people, the workers you don't see. And I thought that was so smart and so on But I would point. take you back to what you just said, where you said that a lot of them are there because they get attention. And it seems to yes. me that it personifies the modern-day celebrity curse, where people like the Kardashians, the Beckhams, kids... Emily Radachowski, all these people, they're not actually talented in their own right. They're just there because they get attention. And celebrity used to be, in the days of Marilyn Monroe, when she actually wore that dress and sang to President Kennedy, that was an amazing moment because she was a proper movie star. These, I... these, this lot tra traipsing up the carpet last night, they're not proper stars. They're just wannabe this, this attention is... seekers. But this is also a major... Um, discussion on a totally different topic, which I am always happy to have with you because I'm very much of two minds about it. There's the business mind, and then there's sort of the Hollywood history and appropriateness well, there's the talent, mind. But there's that's the a, talent mind, and there's the untalented but that's a completely mind, right? I mean, that's there's a two complete, types. If you do an episode on that, you and I could have a phenomenal <laughs> conversation about it, and we can get super academic and granular. So you and I would have a great time. I just don't think we can discuss the Kardashians and use the phrase you know, super super academic. But we ought to leave it there 
uh, Melissa. Lovely to talk to you. Come back. Let's talk about celebrity culture next time because I've got a lot anytime, of strong views about it. Uh, anytime I'm there for you. Great to talk to you. All the very best.